Father, we thank you. We bless you. Once again, I'm glad that I caught you. We are coming your way with another session of Be Encouraged. I trust that the Lord God will speak into your life and that of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. It has always been the will of God that we walk in boldness, we walk in power, we walk in wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. And just before we go into the scriptures, let me pray with you. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we give you praise and glory. We thank you that you have made your grace available unto us all. And in your grace, we triumph, we see victory. So I speak into the lives of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Any obstacle in their lives, may your grace make the way perfect in the name of Jesus and bring them out as you have declared in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Precious one, just turn your Bible with me quickly to the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel uh, chapter 17. And we're going to read uh, a couple of verses and then uh, we encourage ourselves. God bless you. Wonderful. 1 Samuel verse number 23. We all know the story of David. And Bible says that then as he talked, with his with them there was a champion the philistine of god goliath by name coming from the armies of the philistine and he spoke according to the same words so david held, held them 24 and all the men of israel listen to this all the men of israel when they saw the man fled from him and were dreadfully afraid. Number 25. So the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man who has come up? Surely he has come up to defile uh, Israel. And it shall be that the man who kills him, the king will enrich with and the king will enrich with great riches and give him his daughter and give his father's house exemption from taxes in Israel. Quickly, let's move on to 28 and uh, to 30. It says that an Eliab, the his eldest brother, heard when he spoke to them, to the men, Eliab anger was arose against David and said, why did you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your pride and insolence of your heart for you have come down to see the battle number 29 this is what david said and david said what have i done is there not a cause 30 then he turned from him towards another and said and said the same thing and these people answered him uh, these people answered him as the first ones did amen this is the story. As you all know, uh, David was sent to give, send supplies to his brothers, foodstuffs. And Bible says when he got to the camp, they were all fine. He was talking to everybody. And all of a sudden, something happened. All of a sudden. Of course, they were in the battlefield, but nothing was happening. They were in their tents, come out, enjoy the day. But all of a sudden, the Bible says that the giant came out and spoke. And immediately the giant spoke, everything changed. Child of God, we are coming your way this hour. And maybe something is happening in your life that you don't know what to do. You are so afraid. When you read, the Bible says that they were so dreadfully afraid. Meaning that they don't know what to do. As a matter of fact, they all fled went back into their tent, didn't know what to do. But Bible says that David did something extraordinary. I just want us to read it so that we can be assured of. Verse number 33 says that, And Saul said to David, You are not able to go against this Philistine and fight with him, for you are a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. But listen to what David said. But David said to the king, Saul, so, 
your servant used to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from his mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by the beard and struck it and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them that is powerful. Seeing he has defiled the armies of the living God. Number 37. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion, from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hands of this Philistine. Is the same way that we are coming to you, child of God. The God that you serve, he will not let you go through alone. He will deliver you. Yes, the thing may come upon you suddenly. You may not know what to do. But Bible says that as you put your confidence in the Lord, he says that don't worry, King. God has done it before. And I bet you God has done that for you before. He has done something for you that you could remember and know that this is the doings of the Lord. Don't give up. Go and confront this challenge. Confront your fear because God is on your side. Don't give up and remember whatever that you are doing, the Lord God is with you. This is the message that we want to encourage you with this hour. Don't give up. Confront that fear. And above all, Remember, conquer fear, find hope, and be encouraged. God is on your side. Bye-bye. We love you.